Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first edition of West Sides Above the Rim this season. We're here at the West Springfield High School Gymnasium where the West Side Boys basketball team will face off against Palmer in this matchup. I'm Nick O'Dell. Glad to be... I'm uh, glad to be joining you guys here on Channel 15, your place for Terrier Sports. Just about moments away from tip-off here, here in West Springfield. Ref is signaling where people are going, time, checking with the time. Here we go. We are underway here from West Springfield High School as Rodri Rosue Rodriguez has it and get dishes it to Ian Alves and Alves to Tyler Rockford, the man up top there and uh, pass it down to number 31. That's Nick Mouche and Mouche up and no good. Rebound bid by Palmer. Palmer down the court in a hurry. Here's Pardo. Swings it around to Plus Placanico. Back to Placanico. Placanico for three. That's no good. Wide. Rough. It's a rebound by Palmer. Good ball movement here by Palmer as they get inside of the big guy. He gets up top of the key. Number 32 back down to Placanico. Back up top. And number 23 in the corner for three. That's an air ball. I'm way off the mark. And Westside picks up the rebound. Here's Rockford coming up the court with the ball. Rockford to Rodriguez. Rodriguez dribbles in. Up and no good, but draws the foul. 6.44 to go in the first quarter. No score. They're going to call Joe Lombardi for the personal foul. Jose Rodriguez will shoot two. Rodriguez makes the first. Rodriguez makes the second. Two for two on free throws in that sequence. West has a two-nothing lead. Here comes Palmer now. Placanico with a little spin move, trying to get it by the defender, Rockford. Gets number 32. Back to Placanico. Tries to get to Pardo. Pardo lost it. And it's going to be still Palmer ball. Placanico will inbound the ball to for Palmer, then bounces to Pardo, Jeffrey Pardo to Daniel Dan Ledoux, back to Placanico, Placanico for three, that's good. Palmer with the first three-pointer of the ball game, that makes it 3-2 Palmer. Approaching six minutes to go in the first quarter. This is Rodriguez down low, kicks it back out. Then the Moosh, Moushe for three. That's off the mark. Rebounded by Rodriguez, however. Nice offensive board there by Rodriguez. Takes the Moosh, Moosh. Dribbles in and up and in for the layup. Back and forth game so far. 4-3 is our score for in favor of Westside with five and a half to go in the first quarter. This is Ledoux with the ball. Gets it in to... Tries to get in there to Tenzar, but is fouled. That's going to be a foul's call on the floor, so it's not a two-shot foul. Pass out to Ledoux. Ledoux guarded closely by by Alves and over in back. Uh, Palmer will inbound the ball again. Inbounds to Pardo. Pardo 
inside to Tenzar, and Tenzar up and in for the layup. 5-4 now, Palmer. Here is Moosh and Moushe. No good on the layup. Rebound goes to Palmer. Here comes Palmer down the floor rather quickly. Nick Moushe got called for the foul. That's his first personal. Second team foul on west side. Here's Ledoux. Ledoux for a deep three. That's going to be rims in and out. Re rebounded by Rodriguez for west side. Moushe to Rockford. Moushe almost lost it out of bounds. Rockford dribbles inside. And it's going to be a travel on Rockford. Todd Rockford he is most notable for his football playing in the fall. He was the number he was a star quarterback for Westside, led them to an appearance at Gillette Stadium. As Rockford tries to make a play there, and it's tipped in, out of bounds from, by Palmer, who will be Westside ball inbounding. Rockford dribbles near the sideline. Gets the Mooch and inside of Lozada. John Lozada kicks it out to Alves and Alves for three. That's off the mark. Rebounded by, goes out to Alves. And to Lozada. Lozada up and blocked by the Palmer defender. That was Tenzar. And Tenzar throws it away. It'll be, but tipped by Westside. It'll be Westside or Palmer ball. Substitution is now made for West Side. Campire checks in the ball game along with Matt Matthew Matt Donas. Rockford defends that three, no good by Palm. Rebound by Tenzar, Tenzar's up and in for the lay-in. Here's Pyre, gets it to Alves. Alves gets inside, kicks out to Rockford, Rockford for three, that is off the mark, rebounded by Palmer, it's stolen by Do Pyre, Pyre up and in for the layup, it's good. West side down by one, seven to six, approaching three minutes left in the first quarter, and a travel is called on Palmer. That'll be Dylan Tenzar with the travel. So West Side win that substitution is made by Palmer here, so shuffle reshuffle in their lineup. Al Alves is near the sideline there, kicks it to Donas. Donas for three, that's off the mark. Rebounded by Moosh and Mooch Gets it to go. Eight, seven in favor of Westside with two and a half to go in the first. Dylan Tenzar with the layup to make it 9-8 Palmer and Westside needs an answer here to put them back up. Alves to Rockford. Rockford is up and no good. Rebound goes to Donas. Donas up and no good but draws the foul. So Donas will go to line to shoot a pair. Foul is, foul is called on it's 
called on number 34 for Palmer. Timeout is called by Palmer. With 2.04 remaining in the first. 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine is our score here. As the cheerleaders take the, uh, take the court here. Head coach of the Terriers, Joel Aponte, leading the team this year. He's coached a few seasons so far for Westside. Previously the assistant coach for Coach Chris Gerber, who left after, after a long stint with Westside. Coming out of the timeout, it will be Don is the second free throw attempt. Try to take the lead up. Try to take the lead, take the one point lead here. Don's shot is good. It's Westside has a one point lead with 204 remaining in the first. Here comes Palmer though. Westside uses the double team. Palmer gets by it as Dan Ledoux shot Jim Dan Ledoux shot goes in. It's a one point lead for Palmer. Pardo set set to check back in for Palmer. Rockford has it. Donas back out to Alves. Back to Alves from Pyre. Here's Alves for three. That is no good. Off the mark. Rebounded by Palmer and Ledoux. Ledoux takes it to three-point line. Dishes out to Placanico and outlet pass to Rockford down the other end and he Go ahead, go ahead and draws a foul there. With a minute six left in the first quarter. Rockford. This is the first. Rockford, no points so far in this uh, in this contest for him. Rockford's second free throw attempt is good. Scoreboard is went out for a little bit. And it's back. A little scoreboard technicality there. Eleven all here. One oh six to go. In the first quarter and traveling's called on Palmer. It'll be West Side Ball. West Side will inbound it. With a minute to go in this first quarter. Alves with the ball, gets it in the corner to Rockford. Rockford stumbles, gets to Alves. 
Get, tries to get inside, but stolen by Tenzar. Gets it out to Pardo. Jeff Pardo to Placanico. Placanico is offensive foul. Left side ball. Pyer will inbound to Alves. Alves will dribble it to Rockford. Rockford fake. And out of bounds, it will stay west side ball. And a technical foul has been assessed to uh, Tyler Rockford after. As Palmer misses both technical free throws, but they get the ball. Placanico to Pardo on the inbound. Pardo is going to save for the last shot. Four seconds left in the first quarter. And it's waved off. So after one quarter of play, the score is even at 11. As we stay right here on Channel 15, your place for Terrier Sports. Cheerleaders take the court once again. Sizable crowd here at yeah, West Springfield High School as Westside takes on Palmer. If you're just joining us after one period, it's after one quarter, it's 11 all. Back and forth game for for both teams. Nobody had a sizable lead in the first quarter. This Westside team f feature, features quite a few football players on its team from the fall. That's mechanical will inbound for Palmer. That's number 10 for Palmer. Checks into the game for the first time. Gets to the Ledoux to Tenzar and back out to number 10. It's going to be an offensive foul. Pyre will Pyre will inbound to Al Alvarez who has the ball near the far sideline. Inside to Number five for Westside. That's up and good for two. Westside takes the lead 13 to 11. Gets it inside and tens are up and in for two. Here comes Westside though. Quickly down the court. Rubin's shot is no good. 
Rebounded by Palmer. Number 10 for Palmer. Francis Venn. Gets it out to Joe Lombardi. Back to Ledoux, Ledoux. Ledoux's shot is airballed, rebounded by Pyre. Here comes Camp Pyre. Down the court in a hurry, he finds Donas down low. It's it's a, he draws the foul. Joe Lombardi picks up the foul. That's a second personal. Sixteen foul for Palmer. As the as the West Side will take it out, take it in bounds here as Whoosh gets the bucket and draws the foul. What an amazing play by Nick Moosh. And Moosh will go to line to shoot one more. What a great shot there. Foul's picked up by number 34 for Palmer. That's his first. Moosh's shot is good and 17-13 West Side with six and a, just under six and a half to go in the second quarter. Here is Tenzar with the shot. That's no good. Rebounded by Pyre. Camp Pyre. Into Huben and Huben travels. Nate Latender checks into the game for Palmer. As Venn inbounds the Pardo for Palmer. Palmer takes down the court. Here is Pardo with the shot. That's good for two. 17-15 is our score. Favor West Side. Back down the court, they go in a hurry is West Side number five misses the shot. Rebounded by Palmer and Ledoux. Ledoux to Venn. Francis Venn with the ball now off the bench for Palmer. Ledoux deep three ball. That's no good. Goes out of bounds over up and over the backboard. And West Side Windbound with five, just under five and a half to go. To go in the second. Here's Moosh, and Moosh, his shot is no good. Rebounded by Palmer. Here is Pyre. Pyre with the up and in for Lan. West side up by four, 19-15, with under five minutes to go in the first half. As Allen passed to Moosh Moosh. That's up and good for two. West side up by six now, 21-15, the largest lead of the game. As Pardo with the two point jumper, that's no good. Rebound by number five for West Side. Here, here he comes. And the layup's up and in, up and no good. Rebound by Ledoux for Palmer. Here's Tenzar. Back to Venn for Palmer. Venn dribbles it to the near sideline, gets dribbles in, finds, or doesn't find anybody. Ball state goes out of bounds. It will be, so it will stay Palmer basketball.
3.48 to go in the first half. Number 33 shot is no good. The, the tenor shot is no good. Rebounded by Westside. Down the down quickly the court they go. Number five for Westside up and good. Count him in the foul. As number five will go to the line to shoot one more. Dylan Tenzar with the foul. That picks up his second personal, eighth team foul for Palmer. As Latender takes a seat, Chad Bigos will take his spot, number 35 for Palmer. Number five's free throw is no good, rebounded by Palmer. Here's Tyler Pl Placanico to Ledoux. Back to Placanico. Palmer Westside playing exceptional defense, however, not that time as Evan Jusko makes a shot and and now Palmer is down by six with three minutes to go in the second quarter. As number five draws a foul for Westside. Lozada checks back in the ball game for Hubin. Hubin takes a seat. As number five makes the first free throw. Well, side up by seven after the missed free throw. Here comes Palmer dead back down the court. Pecanico to Tenzar. Back to Pecanico. Back to Tenzar. Good ball movement here by Palmer. Here is Ledoux for three. That's no good. Rebounded by Westside. Here is the charge by Westside. Here's Mooch. Mooch. Kicks it back out to number one for Westside. Back to number five. And Rod Rodriguez has it to Ashraf. Mohamed Ashraf inside the number five, number five up, and no good. Rebound by Palmer. And Palmer goes back down the court. Approaching two minutes to go in the first half. Palmer looking to make a run here. Mechanical has the ball near midcourt. They get inside to Bigos and Chad Bigos up and in for two. Palmer down by five now. Palmer, Palmer Spence getting into it now. Number five back down to number 55. That's Lozada. Lozada tries to save it from out of bounds. Nice play there by, by Rodriguez and... Rodriguez draws the foul after the miss. So Jose Rodriguez will go to the line to shoot a pair as Evan Jusko picks up the personal. That's his first team's 10th foul. They're in the double bonus. Westside's in the double bonus. So they will shoot two no matter what. Rodriguez makes the first. Rodriguez makes the second. 26-19 now in favor of Westside. One, a minute and a half left in the second quarter. 
Tenzar, good ball movement here by Palmer. Tenzar has it at the top of the key. Tenzar inside and shots waved off. As Jonathan Lozada picks up the first, that's the first team's only third foul of the first half. Ledoux out near midcourt gets it to Placanico. Placanico is out of bounds. It will be St. Palmer ball. A minute nine to go in the first half. Placanico almost had the ball loose there. Ledoux has it. Ledoux finds Tenzar. Tenzar for three. No good. Rebound. As Lozada picks up another foul. That's two consecutive fouls for him. As he's going to be taken out of the game for his two consecutive fouls. So it's the second personal team's fourth. As Palmer went down the ball, here's Pacanico to Ledoux. Ledoux. Shot is good, and bucket, and the foul. Palmer's free throw is missed. And Westside brings it back down the court. Here's Ashraf. Ashraf with the jumper. That's good. 28-22 is favor of Westside. Just under 30 seconds to go. And Ashraf with the steal. Here they go. And Rodriguez loses it out of bounds. It'll be Palmer ball. 20 seconds to go. In this first half, uh, six point lead by West Side. Ashraf playing stellar D and he gets called for the, gets called for the foul there. Called for the for the for the hold there, for the reach in, for the grab, and Palmer takes a timeout with nine seconds to go in the first half. So Westside holding on to a 28-22 lead as the cheerleaders again take the court. Palmer does not have the foul, but does not have a foul to give here. Westside only committed 16 fouls the whole half. Coming back out of the timeout, it would be it would be a free throw or it would be an out of bounds play for Palmer.
As Palmer inbound, here is Mechanico, and tipped and stolen by Ashraf. Ashraf for three. That's good. And that's how the, half, the first half ends right there. So after one half of play, our score is Westside 31, Palmer 22. We'll be right. We'll be back right after. We'll be back after halftime. We're watching Channel 15. Your place for Terrier Sports. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. Back with you here on Channel 15. Your place for Terrier Sports. We're here at West Springfield High School for the boys' basketball game between West Side and Palmer. I'm Nick O'Dell. Kaitlin Johnson on camera. Great to have you with us here. As Westside starts the uh, second half by inbounding the ball. Here's Rockford. Rockford back into the game after assessing the technical foul. His shot's no good, but Rodriguez with the putback. 33-22 in favor of Westside. Seven and a half to go in the third quarter. We're just underway here in the second half. Ledoux's three-pointer, that's good. Deep three ball by Ledoux and Palmer answers right back with a three, 33-25. Now the shot is good. It's back up to a double-digit lead for Westside. The deuce shot is up and the air balls are rebounded by Rodriguez for Westside. Here comes Westside down the court in a hurry. Mucci's three is off the mark, rebounded by Tenzar for Palmer. Timeout is called there by the player. This timeout's called by Westside with 6.35 to go in the third quarter. Westside up 35-25. We're just joining us. It was a back and forth early going for both teams before Westside started to pull away in the second quarter. As I said earlier, decent sized crowd here at West Springfield High School. As coming down the timeout, it'll be West Side's ball to inbound. Mucci with the inbounds pass to Alves. Alves will take the ball court for West Side. Gets to Lazada. Lazada will travel. As Palmer will inbound it. He was Placanico to Ledoux. Ledoux inside of Tenzar. Dylan Tenzar out to Pardo to Ledoux, and that's his three balls. No good. Rebounded by Palmer, still controls it. Tenzar up and good. Westside's lead cut to eight, 
35-27. Mucci to Rockford. Rockford shot, fakes a shot, gets dribbles in, finds Lozada. Lozada up and in for two. Nice passing there by Rockford to Lozada to get the ball in the net. Westside's lead back up to 10. Both teams trading baskets here. As Ledoux has it, guarded closely by Rockford, gets inside to Tenzar. Tenzar's shot is off the mark, rebounded by Rodriguez for Westside. Uh, outlet pass to Rockford. Tyler Rockford inside to John Lozada. Lozada's shot is up and no good, rebounded by Ledoux. Pardo to back out to Placanico. And Palmer tried to they try to save it out of bounds, but it was no good. It'll be West Side's ball. Pyre checks back into the ball game for Rockford, as is Donez checks back in the ball game for West Side. Mucci brings a Brings the ball of court for Westside. Up 10, 37, 27, four and a half to go in the third. Here's Donas out to Alves. Ian Alves. Near the three point, far three point line. His shot is off the mark, rebounded by Palmer. And here's Francis Venn who checks into the ball game for Palmer. He brings the ball of court for the Palmer squad. Inside. Number 34 shot is up and no good. Rebounded by West Side. Here's Rodriguez. Rodriguez uh, almost lost it, but crowds to Mucci for three. That's good. West Side takes commanding 40 to 27 lead. As Venn's shot is good. Cut, cut the west side lead to 11. Mucci brings the ball up court. Sets up the play for west side. Gets it in the far corner to Alves. Back to Mucci. Up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez. This floater's no good. Rebounded by Palmer. Gets out to Ledoux. Palmer's Ledoux has it. Tries to take it all the way himself, but stripped by Rodriguez and corralled by him. Tries to do an outlet pass, but then has it now. And now it's the number 23 for Palmer to Ledoux. Ledoux's three-pointer is off the mark. And Pyre will take it out of bounds for West Side. Substitution being made by both teams. Nick Mucci brings the ball up court. Pyre sets the screen for Mucci as he misses the shot. Rebound is. Out of bounds, it'll be Palmer ball. 2.22 to go. In the third quarter as Ashraf checks, Mohamed Ashraf checks into the, back into the ball game for the first time in the second half. He had a great ending to the first half as he drilled the three-pointer in the closing seconds of the first half. Francis Venn has it for Palmer. And then out to Tenzar. Tenzar with a push, and the offensive foul is called on Tenzar. 2 0 1 remaining in the third quarter, 40 to 29 is our score from West Springfield High School in favor of Westside. I'm Nick O'Dell, Kalen Johnson on camera. Harry Hoobin checks in to the 
checks into the game now for West Side for this back in the game. Rodriguez takes a seat for the Terriers. Uh, Pyre inside to Ashraf. Ashraf's shot is no good. Rebounded by Huben. Huben's shot is denied. And a jump ball. It was favored, favored to Palmer. One forty-two to go in the third quarter. Still forty to twenty-nine in favor of West Side. Palmer inbounds the ball. West Side playing exceptional D. As gets a. Palmer gets inside to Tenzar. Tenzar's shot is no good, but denied, but draws the foul. So Tenzar will go to line to shoot two as Campire will pick up the foul. That's his first personal first team foul of the half for West Side. Tenzar will shoot a pair from the line. His first shot is no good. Both teams mediocre at the free throw line tonight. As Tenzar's second shot goes in, it's a 10 point ball game in favor of Westside. 1.15 to go in the third quarter as number five for Westside gets a shot denied. As Van has the ball now for Palmer. Good ball movement here by Palmer as he gets inside Tenzer. Tenzer up and no good. Rebound by number five for West Side. As uh, a pushing foul is called on Pucanico. That's a second personal second team foul for a Palmer player. As Rockford checks back in the ball game for for West Side and Ashraf's shot is good. And, so, and Tyler Rockford seals the ball and it's up and good for West Side. Look at that. Look at that. Two four point swing there in favor of West Side. Yes. As Rockford picks up the foul, that's his second personal, second team foul. As Ashroff's pass, he's stepped on line, and it's going to go the other way. It's Tyler Rockford's third personal foul. Actually, they corrected the scoreboard there. It's going to be West Side's second team foul. 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. West Side has commanding 14 point lead, entering the final final frame. Has. <laughs> As that marks the end of the third quarter. So going in the last, so going in the fourth quarter of play, West Side has a 44-30 lead over Palmer. As we keep it right here as the cheerleaders perform their routine. West Side commanded that third quarter, playing exceptional defense to not hold Palmer to any sort of momentum.
So here we go, the fourth quarter about to start here from West Springfield High School. West side against Palmer boys basketball action. I'm Nick O'Dell, Kalen Johnson on camera here with you. Watching Channel 15, your place for Terrier Sports. West side will inbound the ball here. Pirate inbound for West side. Ashraf. Muhammad Ashraf with the ball now. Prior shot is off the mark. Rebound goes to Ashraf. Look at that, a rebound, but immediately stolen by Palmer. And look at that. As Palmer travels there, Chad Bigos with the travel. Fourth quarter is just underway here. West side with a 14 point lead. That's Pyro inbound to number five. Number five dribbles in, puts up the shot and no good. Rebound by Palmer. Uh, double drip over and back is called on Palmer. Carry. Ashraf with the ball brings it up. Back to Ashraf. Ashraf will dribble in, find number five. Number five has it for West Side to Pyre. Pyre to Rockford. Rockford to number five. Ashraf for three. That is off the mark. Rebound goes to Palmer. Rockford has to be careful as Palmer Ledoux gets the bucket to go. Or actually, excuse me, that's Pardo with the put back. Pyre, the bucket and the foul. <laughs> West side back up to a 14 point lead. This Pyre will shoot one more from the line. Tenzar with his fourth personal, one more and he is gone. Got to be careful. Still back out there. Palmer with three team fouls at West Side's two. This Tenzar shot is up and no good. Rebound by Pyre. Here comes Pyre to number five. Number five up and no good, but draws the foul. So number five will shoot two free throws here. Try to extend its lead. He misses the first. 6-11 to go in the, f in the game. And five misses both. Ledoux makes the makes the uh, running layup. 
Palmer deficit cut to 12. Here's number five. That's no good. Rebound by Palmer. Pardo to Ledoux. Ledoux, wide open three here. That spakes up and good. Hallmark deficit cut to nine here. It's under five and a half to go in the game. Pyre brings the ball up court. Here's number five for Westside. Shot is up and no good. Rebound goes the other way to Palmer. Out of bounds. Alice checks into the ball game for number five. Five oh nine to go in the game. Inside and it's going to be Palmer's ball still. Ball goes out of bounds, it'll be left side ball. Pyre. Out to Rockford, Rockford for three. That's off the mark, rebounded by Pardo. As Ledoux. Three balls, no good. Rebound by Rodriguez and nine point ball game. Anything could happen here. And timeout is called by Westside with 423 to go in the game. 46-37 is our score in favor of Westside. Side talking over the play here. Four twenty three left in the game. West side has a forty six thirty seven lead. Nick Odell here. Kalen Johnson on camera. You're watching Channel 15, your place for Terrier Sports. <laughs> Alvis will inbound the ball for the Terriers. Alvis, Pyre, Mucci, Rockfort, and Rodriguez on the floor for West Side. Mucci with the three ball. That's good. <laughs> Mucci with a steal to Alves. Alves to Rockford. Rockford fakes the jumper. Now drops in, puts it up, and in for two. Rockford, first points of the game as... As Westside extends his lead to uh, 14. Fifty-one thirty-seven. West side leads with 3.42 to go in the game. Oh, 
as Venn takes a shot in the face. He's all right. Rockford gets the ball over midcourt. Here's Pyre out to Rodriguez, to Mucci. Mucci's layup is no good. Rebounded by Palmer. Here is Palmer. Canico here. As Rodriguez gets bumped in, he draws the foul. Pardo checks back in the ball game. Canico takes a seat. as he picks up his third personal. Palmer's at five team fouls, the West Side's two. 2.48 to go in this ball game as West Side looking to put the exclamation point on this ball game. Alves inside, back out to Mucci, Nick Mucci. Inside the Pyre, Cam Pyre up and off the mark. Rebounded by Palmer. Stolen by Pyre. Pyre up and no good. Rebound goes to Alves, but Alves steps out of bounds. So 2.14 to go in the game. Rockford steals the pass, brings it up court. As Coach Apani takes the timeout for Westside with 2.02 remaining in the game. Westside has a 51 37 advantage. She goes to take the court again and. Both teams talking it over here. Coming out of time, that'll be West Side Ball. Palmer has five team fouls as, as opposed to West Side's two. If you're just joining us, early on it was a back and forth game. But West Side pulled away and they never looked back in this one. 14-point advantage for Westside, 51-37. As I said, 202 left in the game. As Rodriguez's shot is no good, rebounded by it's a jump ball. under two minutes to go in the ball game. Alves almost had that. Substitutions now for West Side. Ashraw checks in the game. Harry Hoover and also two. Ben Green checks into the ball game for the first time for West Side. Green takes it.
Green up and good. 53-37. Favor of West Side. Looks like they're going to come away with a win with this one. As number 23 for Palmer up and no good. A couple times rebounded by Green for West Side. As Ashroff takes the ball and shoots a three and misses. Rebounded by McDonough's. Rebounded by Hooven. Hooven misses. Hooven again. And he draws the foul. 53 and a half seconds to go. Seconds left in the game as 34 for Palmer picks up the personal. That's his third, team's sixth. Hooven's second shot is missed. As Venn. Number 11 for Palmer shoots a three and he makes it, but it's a two. And a little bit of two pointer. 30 seconds to go. West side will come away with the win here as Ashraf makes the shot. 17 seconds to go. Ten seconds, and it looks like West side will come away with this one tonight. Final score here at the West Springfield High School. West side 55, Palmer 39. Great showing here by West Side Boys Basketball. And that will do it for our coverage for Kaylin Johnson on camera. I'm Nick O'Dell. Saying so long here from West Springfield High School. Once again, the final score West Side 55, Palmer 39. You've been watching Channel 15, your place for Terrier Sports. We'll see you later, everybody.